of all, you're going to need to know your going landmarks. Okay, so those are the first things. The fulcrum is going to go for, for door seat flexion and planter flexion. Your fulcrum is going to be on the lateral malleolus. You're going to follow that imaginary line or the line of the fibula um, is the, the one arm of the goniometer. The other one is going to be parallel to the fifth metatarsal. And that's the challenge is you, um, you have to make sure that that's parallel. You really don't have an actual line to follow, okay? So in this instance, um, I'm gonna stick my stationary arm. It's a little hard because I can't go so you can see it, but um, I'm gonna slide that up as best as I can, okay? Head of the fibula. Got my um, line that line up with the fibula. Okay, I'm gonna hold that there, and then this line is what needs to be parallel with that fifth metatarsal. Okay, so from there, I'm already seeing that her foot is not in neutral. Okay, so I need to get her to a neutral position first. It's a little hard to tell from the side here, so I'm going to just move a little bit first. Okay, so there she's in neutral. And then from there, I'm going to bring her into dorsiflexion. Holy cow. We have a lot of dorsiflexion. <laughs> So she's got an unusual 30 degrees of dorsiflexion. That's not really normal. Um, normally you're gonna get you know, 15 to 20, I think is what's written on yeah, your sheets. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's more normal. Um, same reference points for going into plantar flexion. You're just going to now take that in this direction. Again, still parallel. Remember, your starting point is 90 degrees, or you're using the outer numbers, um, which has her at about 60, looks like 64 degrees, okay, of plantar flexion. Again, I'm not really pushing it. I can probably take her a little further. So she actually has more like uh, 74 degrees once you put that passive. Okay, so remember your active mm -hmm. is gonna be limited as compared to your passive. Your passive is gonna go definitely further. Okay, so that's dorsiflexion, plantar flexion.